Good day, I am Sujin Kim and this is PTV News Now. More than 27,000 policemen will be deployed for the upcoming Barangay and Sangguniang Kabatan elections, All Souls Day and All Saints Day. According to the Philippine National Police, they will go on full alert starting tomorrow. The Philippine Coast Guard previously raised their status to heighten alert on October 25 until November 5. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines advised UNDAS passengers to arrive early at the airports due to the expected surge of passengers. According to CAAP spokesperson Eric Apolonio, the plane cannot wait for late passengers because it will affect the flight on the runway. The CAAP also requested additional staff for the anticipated influx of passengers. Two Filipinos are suspected of being held hostage of the Palestinian militant group Hamas. Israel has called on the government to do whatever it takes to rescue the hostages. The Israeli government first confirmed that two Filipinos were among the 220 hostages of the militant group. But according to the Philippine Embassy in Tel Aviv, they have not yet received any confirmation about this. The missing Filipino Jimmy Pacheco can be seen in this photo of alleged Hamas hostages shown at the press conference of the Israeli Foreign Ministry. According to the Israeli government, the hostages include 54 Thai nationals, 15 Argentinians, 12 Americans, 12 Germans, 6 Russians, 6 French, 1 Chinese and 1 Sri Lankan. Republican Mike Johnson was elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, ending lawmakers' 22-day struggle to pick one of the top leadership positions in the U.S. government. VOA Congressional Correspondent Catherine Gibson reports. By a vote of 220 to 209, Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives finally ended three weeks of fighting and indecision to pick a leader. Honorable Mike Johnson of the state of Louisiana, having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. The new Speaker of the House is conservative Republican Representative Mike Johnson. A man of deep faith, Mike epitomizes what it means to be a servant leader. A deeply respected constitutional lawyer, Mike has dedicated his life to preserving America's great principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The lower chamber of the U.S. Congress has been without a leader and unable to pass legislation since October 3rd, when Republican Kevin McCarthy became the first ever Speaker of the House to be removed from power. Eight conservative members of his own party, along with all Democrats, voted him out for passing a short-term funding bill for the government. You know, there's been a lot of internal turmoil within the Republican conference for really the last decade or so, and it's been slowly piecing and becoming more exposed in, in more public ways. And, and this really hit, a, hit the head uh, when the, the funding battle was, was nece necessary with, to, to fund the government. Speaker, Speaker McCarthy couldn't find enough votes uh, within his own conference. Three-term Congressman Johnson was nominated late Tuesday after Representative Tom Emmer withdrew his candidacy following former President Donald Trump's social media post criticizing him for being a Republican in name only. Trump praised Johnson early Wednesday. I think Mike Johnson is doing very well. He's a tremendous congressman, respected by everybody. Uh, I hear it looks like it's really good. I haven't had one negative comment about him. Everybody likes him. He's respected by all. Johnson, who is now second in the presidential line of succession after Vice President Kamala Harris, is strongly anti-abortion and was one of the leaders of the effort among Republican lawmakers to overturn the results of the 2020 election. All 209 House Democrats voted for their leader, Hakeem Jeffries, and warned Johnson's views are too extreme. Has this been about something else? Has this been about a focus of House Republicans to find the person who can pass their extreme litmus test to oppose marriage equality, enact a nationwide abortion ban without exceptions, gut Social Security and Medicare, and support overturning a free and fair election? U.S. lawmakers have just 23 days until the short-term government funding bill runs out. They are also expected to debate the White House request for $61 billion in aid to Ukraine and $14 billion in aid for Israel. Catherine Gibson, VOA News. This is Sujin Kim. Stay informed, be aware, get ahead, be of use, and get the news right here.